What is up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the Nerf InStrike Elite AccuStrike Stratahawk. Now, this is repainted and renamed, but this thing is our good old Rapid Strike, and that is awesome. I'm super excited that these things are back and in a brand new paint scheme. I think that is really cool. Now, when this blaster was first leaked, I was really surprised that they were bringing it out in the AccuStrike line, as it really doesn't fit the mold of that line. So, I'm not really sure why they decided to bring this out in the AccuStrike line, but I'm really not complaining too much because this paint scheme is cool. And I love the AccuStrike paint scheme. It really reminds me a lot of the Gear Up series back in the day, so that is awesome. But I'm not sure that this is gonna be the most accurate of the AccuStrike blasters. Should be more accurate than the old Rapid Strike, but probably not by much. But we'll test that out in a little bit when we get outside and put this thing on the range and over the chronograph. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. All right, so you get your Stratahawk or Rapid Strike, you get a scope that seems to be very popular these days in Nerf putting on blasters that have been previously released. So we have the scope there from the modulus line and then we have a barrel attachment that's also from the modulus line and a cool looking 25 round drum that has a new white front on it. Pretty cool. And 25 AccuStrike darts. All right you guys so if you're not aware the Stratahawk is a fully automatic flywheel blaster so to power the blaster you will need four C batteries that go in a tray in the front of the blaster right here you unscrew those three screws pull the tray out put your batteries in and pop it back in now to function the blaster you're gonna have to pull the rev trigger here to power up the flywheels and then you can pull the trigger and it will continuously fire until you let go of the trigger so pretty darn cool the blaster has lots of tactical rails. Obviously there's one on top here for the scope and then you have one on each side of the blaster which is really, really cool. Also you have one down here and on top and on the bottom. So a lot of places on this blaster to put tactical attachments, really, really cool. Has a really nice sling point in the back here, one under the grip also, really awesome. Has a extendable stock which is one of my favorite features of the blaster extends all the way out very comfortable stock very nice and i must say the white and gray looks awesome the grip is a little small but it is pretty darn comfortable i can't complain too much i usually add a grip extension to the grip here just to give it a little more length for my hands but i think it'd be very comfortable for most children so i can't complain too much about that the front of the blaster has a nice little place sort of to put your hand there. But yeah, you could also add a foregrip on front. So that's really, really cool. So it gives you a lot of options to allow you to hold the blaster comfortably. Obviously it has an in-strike attachment in front there. Pretty sweet. Now, I wouldn't recommend running this with an in-strike attachment if you're looking for the best performance. And I'll get into that more in the firing demonstration. But I'm surprised they sent this with a barrel attachment considering this is in the AccuStrike series and the more barrel the less accurate and less power the blaster will have and that's one thing you don't see in most AccuStrike blasters is a barrel a faux barrel and this is I believe the first one to have one so this one and then obviously the new Alpha Trooper blaster that's coming out which is also a obviously a repaint so this does come with a 25 round drum it usually shipped with 18 round stick mags, which was awesome. I'm, I kind of prefer the 18 round stick mags, especially when it came in a double pack. I thought that was sweet when you used to be able to get two 18 round clear mags along with your blaster. I thought that was cool. 25 round drum is awesome. So if you like a 25 round drum, I think that's great. But for my purposes, I would have preferred two 18 rounds, but you know, can't complain too much. 25 rounds is awesome awesome thing to be able to hold at once and i think that's probably a plus for most kids that are playing so that's pretty cool there is a sight that runs through the middle of the blaster which is awesome we'll go ahead and remove that 
and it's really cool because it has this flip up sight in front so you can put that down or up there's also a sight on the front of the barrel which is cool so you can just line that up all the way down really really neat now I have noticed a few flaws and interesting things while looking over the blaster uh, unfortunately my cast was a little rough and there's like like some chipping here and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not but it, that's where like the mold goes in so that's a little unfortunate this side also has a tad bit on that side but not too too big a deal but one thing that I found really interesting and I'll try to get a picture of this is the plastic that holds in the stock on the inside it's actually still blue and I don't know why they couldn't change the color of that I would have gone with white or orange but uh, no it's still blue in there and uh, that's kind of weird but you really won't see see that unless you're looking really closely so not too big a deal I got this for sixty dollars and I believe that was even on sale so not the cheapest blaster I think they used to retail for 40 and then they went up a little bit like 45 or so but uh, I would have to say that unless you really love the paint scheme I'm not sure it's worth that but Let's go ahead and take this baby outside, put it over the chronograph in the range and see what kind of performance it's getting. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and take some shots over the chronograph with the Stratahawk. I will do a couple with the barrel on, but then we're gonna take that off because this is definitely gonna hurt that performance. So let's go ahead and see what it's got. No barrel, 70, 76, 74, 76, 74, error, 72, 73. And those are with the AccuStrike darts, so that's pretty impressive. Actually better than I remember the original Rapid Strike doing over the chronograph so it's pretty good we'll go ahead and try some elite darts and see how they do that's your mag release guys if you didn't know 65 68 65 69 72 69 70 so really not that much better not really better at all in terms of accuracy that's for sure and if you're not aware, the AccuStrike darts are what make the blasters accurate, not the blasters themselves. That being said, it does help that most of their blasters don't have that faux barrel, but it didn't seem to really hurt accuracy too much, so let's go ahead and check out those ranges. So the Elite darts are very inaccurate, and sometimes they just dive straight into the ground, like these two did at 27 feet. But our AccuStrike darts, which we're most concerned about, the shortest one was at 32, another one at 33, but the majority of them went right here between about 35 feet and 38 feet. So pretty darn consistent there. Pretty darn accurate as the, you can see they're right online. We will shoot at Zombie Strike Man here in a second. But we do have some elite darts that went up a little further because they will get a little bit better ranges. And our furthest one went 45 feet. So nothing to write home about. The Rapid Strike is much, much better when it's modified correctly. But... Honestly, in stock form, I do feel like it was doing better than it did originally when first released. So maybe they have some new motors in there. Maybe the cage is a little bit different. I'm not sure. I'd have to open it up to find out. But we're getting slightly better numbers. So that's pretty good. All right, let's take some shots at Zombie Strike Man here. I'll do, again, a few with the barrel on, and then we'll take them off and see if that changes anything. We will be using the AccuStrike darts, and we'll do some single shots, and then we'll go full auto on him. Here we go. 70, 70. Seems to be uh, shooting a little to the left with the barrel on for whatever reason. Take that off. We did get one hit there finally. And then here we go. A couple more here. Here we go. So as you can see, much more accurate without that barrel on. Hit him a lot more times, and let's go full auto.
pretty darn good all the darts are right around him you do lose a little bit of range when you go full auto as the flywheels cannot spin up quick enough to catch up with that rate of fire but still not bad pretty darn good let's go inside and i'll give you my final thoughts all right you guys so i'm super impressed with the performance of the stratahawk stock it's always been a kind of low performing stock blaster at least when the rapid strike was released that at least that's what i remember but was actually hitting pretty darn reasonable numbers even with those Aki strike darts that are a little bit heavier than elite darts so above 70 fps from a stock nerf blaster is always a good thing in my opinion so pretty darn impressed the thing looks awesome and it has some cool attachments although those aren't really super important to me but they may be to you this thing is selling for sixty dollars i think that was even on sale so keep an eye out for bigger sales this i did pick up at walmart and i'll put a link to where you can get one in the description box below obviously you'll have to decide for yourself whether it's worth sixty dollars or not but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the review if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications smash that like button and as always Peace out.